Hi everybody, my name is Giuseppe Morari. I'm with Banner Engineering. I'm a global product manager for the safety group. And uh, I'm here to introduce a new feature we have with our XS and SC26 series of safety controllers. Essentially, the ability to access these safety controllers via a network. Um, what that means is, up until now, you've only been able to really access the full power of our safety controllers through our software via the USB port. And so we've enabled that same level of access, that same level of controllability, configurability through your ethernet port. What does that mean for your customers? How does this work for your customers? So if you have customers that have multiple sites, you're able to access those sites through a network. You can have one controls engineer running multiple sites. If you have customers that have limited access or a process that might not be able to be reached very easily or they don't want to shut it down, you could remote into the safety controller and live view, configure, and do whatever you need to do without interrupting their process. So you're saving on downtime, you're saving on travel costs, and you're saving on having a single controls engineer running multiple facilities. And uh, one last thing, this feature is available on every SC26 and XS26 with ethernet access as of right now. All right, so next up, we're gonna dive into the software and I will show you some of the changes we've made and some of the features that we have that allow you to access the controller via the network. First things first, we will open up the controller software. And what you'll notice is the splash screen changed just a little bit. You have this new feature on the right hand side and we're gonna go ahead and click it. And that will bring you up to a screen that shows all of the controllers on the network. So we're only connected to this one right now, but if you had more controllers, there'd be a full list. And one other convenience feature is this flash to identify. So if you click flash, the controller will actually show you which one. So if you had a row of safety controllers, you can identify which one that you're working on. So then you just click connect. And it's essentially connected as if you're connected via USB. So we can pull the configuration from the controller. And there it is, all through the network. So you have your functional view. Here's the setup that is living inside the controller. And if you wanted to do a live view, click the live view button and uh, you can manipulate the controls and I can kind of do a live, you know, you hit the reset button and it's all very instantaneous as if you're connected to USB, but now you have it through a network. Um, you can go through the wiring diagram and again, the big point and the big selling feature for your customers and for anyone that is watching this is you are connected to the safety controller as if you're standing in front of it without having to be in front of the safety controller. So once we exit live view, I can show you a couple of new tabs that we have added to our controller software. So we have our network settings tab. We have our network access, so you can turn it on and off. So if your customers don't want access like this, they can turn it off. Um, we also have the discovery button built into the software. So again, it can bring you to your information page. It'll show you the status of the controller. You can click info and you get more detailed information on the controller itself. And then the flash feature again will show you and identify the controllers that you are connected to. If you need to add a IP address in order to access the controller, you can add it right here. And that's kind of the high level overview of network access on our new updated SC and XS26 series of safety controllers. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any other questions, please visit BannerEngineering.com or get into contact with us and we will be very happy to help you. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day.